Oh my god, man, they got another season of this. Okay, so here's what happened last time. Dave got a job at this kid's show. I made this show as a beacon for my parents to find me. And then he found out that Arlo's parents are dead. His parents are dead! <laughs> and then Arlo found out that everybody knew, and so he fired Dave, and he got mad at everybody. And then everybody was mad at everybody. There's no love here. And then he's gonna shoot this guy. You see, believe me next time. And then they go to Judge Judy's. But it's okay because they won the trial. But bye, bye Dave. Have fun in prison. Magic Funhouse, the kid show that's rapidly becoming a household name in children's television. It's been called everything from disturbing to brilliant and has left many wondering whether this controversial program is appropriate for young audiences. It's never a dull moment when Mr. Marvel is around and we have him with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Marvel. Yes, thank you. For, for the people who think that my show is unfit for children, I just like to say they probably shouldn't be parents. My mammy and daddy didn't give a rat's hoot or what I watched, and look how fine I turned out. Have you ever considered that being in a coma for 22 years may have held you back from developing good judgment for what's considered appropriate? Well, I'm sure if Mr. Arlo was here right now, I'm sure he'd say there is nothing wrong with his judgment. Some parents would beg to differ. And those parents can go fuck themselves. <gasps> sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Can kindly go fuck themselves. We're all having a good time, all right? Calm down. How about you drop the accent and take off that wig? We want to get to know the man yeah. behind Mr. Marble. <clears throat> so, Arlo, how did Magic Funhouse leap to the top of the charts? Uh, I, uh, I guess it all started about six months ago. I was taking out some of the trash in my life, so to speak. I'd slit your goddamn jug, and my happiness would be the last thing you see before going to where you belong. Ask me questions. We won the trial of the century, but our victory was short-lived. The entire town hated us, reckoned us a bad influence on their children. Dave might have lost his freedom, but I lost the most precious thing anyone could ever own, my public access kids show. And remember, boys and girls, stealing is kind of cool as, as long, long as, as you don't, don't get caught. Can someone give me a fucking script, please? Carrots are like baby fingers. Ow! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's only carrots. Remember to always treat your substitute teachers like shit. I spent years telling children they can do anything and be anything if they believed in themselves. Maybe that ain't so bad, Arlo. As a sole profiteer of this production, I have an idea for a whole new show that could make us so much more money. Now imagine it, a chill. But now I know that's all a lie. None of it's real. Dreams only come true for the rare and the lucky. through your bullshit and it smells like dick. Read him and weep, you floppy butt plug. God damn it! Fuck it over, you big baby. And the rock candy too. Yeah, 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 I know. Where are you putting all this rock candy anyways? In my body. Then in the corner. Ah, delightful. I've been picking at that. Good morning, Arlo. Ah, Cliff, how are you doing today? I'll have the usual. What happened to you, Clifford? You used to be such a sweet guy, doing what you loved. I mean, why'd you have to go and quit porn anyways? It was my only source of comedy. Uh, I am no comedian. And I quit porn because the pay got so low, I was basically doing it pro boner. <laughs> God, and I thought my jokes were bad. Hey, is, um, is she here? Oh, God, yeah, Manjusha. Manny. Why must you torment me every day? <sighs> because this is the only job where I can still see you just for a moment, even if it isn't a real prison and not just a kid's show. I don't like you, Cliff. But I love you, Manny, and that's what matters. Please leave or I'll be forced to do something you don't like. I love you, Manny. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll bring hot buckets. 
Who the fuck are you, little boy? Judge Airman, you are right on time. As for, this is scary. I told you I didn't want that thing in here. Its name is Manjusha, and she's my assistant. She goes with me everywhere I go. We went over this when I hired you. You're not supposed to bring your friends to work. Between you and I, she's not my friend. What do you want, Manny? I'm at work right now. The funeral home hasn't fired you yet? Please, I'm their best employee. I'm assuming you're calling about Operation MF? Yes. We agreed that today would be the day that we approach Arlo with our idea. Are we still on? Yeah, I just got one more stiff to finish embalming. Is everyone else on board? Everybody but Sasha. Please call her now. <sighs> Hello. I got Sasha on the line. And Manjusha. Sasha, we want you to reconsider Operation MF. No. I got a good thing going for me. I'm finally making money with this old bastard. You coming to bed, Sasha Washi? Oh, one sec, babe. Since when is being some old farts paid fuckhole considered a job? I'd like a little manual release. If you please it wheezy. You read my mind. He doesn't remember anything past 30 seconds. I haven't even touched the tip. Sasha, we need you. Yeah. It's just not the same without you around. <laughs> Mr. Cronus? How long have you been on? Oh, he was already on way before both of you. But I let you borrow my work car so that you could drive me to movie night. I know, but my mother's in town and all the motels are sold out. Why do you need a motel? Uh, I'm looking to buy it. It's easy. It pays the cost more than your future. Who is that? Guys, I have Cliff on the line. Family! <laughs> I was wondering we'd ever hear from you again. It's only been, uh, 234 hours. Clifford, are you still on for Operation MF? Only if everyone else is. Have we convinced Sasha yet? Nope. As per usual, she's stubborn with us. Always has been. <gasps> Guys, hold on one sec. No kidding. Sometimes I wonder if she's the reason why we were canceled. <laughs> I'm here too, you asshat. Who's using this landline? <laughs> I told you I am ended this subscription in May. That was close. We don't have much time, Sasha. We need the entire gang in order for Alu to say yes. This is our last shot for all of our dreams to come true. If not for yourself, do this for us. Who are you? Uh, what's your daughter's name? Kathy. I'm Kathy. You owe me money, you bitch. Uh, you know what, Manny? You twisted my arm. I'm in. Perfect. Are we meeting today? Yes, let's reconvene in an hey, hour. Hey, don't talk to me. No. Let's reconvene in an hour at the courthouse. Weren't you embalming a body? Oh, shit balls. Hey, I need a ride home. I just gave you a ride, bitch. You should be paying me. <sighs> it's only natural. Well, I'm pretty sure she's not supposed to look that way. Yeah, well, she's dead. Oh, man, Jusha. My little brown beetle. My little mushroom delicacy. I love you. <laughs> you still think those people are your family, huh? You think they love you? Mm, you can't love a sad person, Cliff. And you're the saddest sack of shit I've seen work in this prison trying to get that mushroom tip in the snack shack to love you. I only started working here so I could watch you suffer up close. Oh, you better watch carefully, because as soon as I get my chance... I'm gonna kill you. Tough words from behind steel bars. <laughs> Lunchtime, inmates. It's potato day. Again. And that will be three dollars and fifty cents. I have one dollar. I'm not sure how you want me to proceed in this situation. Hey, are you that guy from Magic Fun House? Magic Fun? No. That show sounds like a piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god, you're Mr. Marble. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, not get that back! Get god. Mr. Marble! This little bitch! Get him! No! Stop it! You have to pay for that! No, get no. it back! Get it! No! Stop it! <laughs> I'm gonna need more money. What's Dr. Potty Mouth like in real life? God damn it! I am not Mr. Marble! Now shut the hell up and get out! What the hell? I am not Mr. Marble. I have had nothing to do with that show or ever will, and I never want to hear the words magic or fun house ever again! Arlo, we want to bring back Magic Fun House. I I told you cock dicks never to harass me at my career. We have a plan to get the show going again. You know, Leslie, I'm surprised you'd invest in such a stupid idea. We had our broadcast permit revoked, or do none of you assholes remember that? Ugh, Jimmy, put her out. Thank you. Oh my god. It's okay, little girl. 
antelope. My money is like my dick. I don't put either one into anything that won't return on my investment. You understand? Unfortunately. Yes, the FCC banned us from the airwaves for 80 years, but they didn't say anything about going on the road. This bitch only has $2 on her. That lying whore. All right, let's make this quick. I have a liquid explosion ready to blow whether I'm inside or outside. You cannot be serious. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, what the fuck am I looking at? It's Magic Fun House. The old show, but now on the road. <laughs> Magic Fun House, the traveling road show. It'll be just like before. You'll entertain the children with magic and teach them valuable life lessons that their parents won't approve of. Uh, Sasha and I will be our characters. With Officer McSafety representing the value of rules and responsibilities and me representing feminine allure and wealth and sex appeal. I obviously can't answer phones like I used to before I took a bullet in my head, so I'll be the driver. I'll do sound and bitch work. I've already got us our first gig lined up that should give us enough momentum and cash flow to float as long as we land a gig a week. I'm sorry, you've already found a show for us? Yep, day after tomorrow. You win? Where? Los Baños. It's a real place. We'll be performing for a girl's birthday party at a farmhouse. I don't like agriculture. And tell me, Cronus, how exactly are we supposed to keep generating new gigs? by doing what I do best, overcharging for a shitty product. <laughs> huh. We're gonna make our way through California until we crash or hit Nevada. And I can be within 20 feet of a school there. Hey. No. What? what? I only created Magic Fun House as a beacon for me to find my parents. And guess what? I found them. And you people gotta make a pretty penny by hiding it from me. So as far as I'm concerned, my obligation to any of you assholes is over. Arlo, please just Up think about end. it. Mr. Marble? No, 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 no. Please sign my no. phone, Mr. Marble. Shut up, you crazy, stupid bitch! Shut the fuck up! I am not Mr. Marble! And Magic Funhouse is never coming back! Arlo, I need to speak to you in my chambers. You're done here. Pack your bags and get out. What? You, you, you don't understand, Judge Hareman. Hammond! It's gross either way. I do understand. I knew who you were when I hired you. I knew there were risks. Clearly, I was right. Now get out! I'm taking this with me, you bitch. Fuck. I want this hot pocket. Arlo, wait, stop! Arlo! Why? Why do you continue to work for me? I am so mean to you, Mandrusha. I'm a terrible human being. And part of me does it to see when you will get it through your fucking mushroom head that I am no good for anyone to be around! But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, Arlo. Yeah, well, that's pathetic. Maybe if you had a backbone, you wouldn't be so fucking short and could see me for what I am. Fraud. Everything I touch just turns to shit. Now I gotta go find a new job. And I suggest you do the same. I suddenly remember what it feels like to be sad. Arlo, sweetie, dinner's ready. Mrs. Bory? Why didn't you ever tell me my parents had died? For years, I thought you were just a decoration for the guest bedroom. I completely forgot that your parents had asked me to take care of your disgusting coma body. Which explains why people walked out of this room disturbed or extremely satisfied. Mm, I regret having this conversation, Mrs. Bory. To be honest, I didn't know that your parents had died until your staff started looking for them. <laughs> they looked for my parents. Oh, yes. But we knew how much you loved that show, how driven you were. Good morning, boys and girls. You recorded these? Every episode. Sometimes it's not about reaching your destination. It's about the fun you have getting there. If you had known from the very beginning that your parents were dead, you would have been this miserable, but a whole lot sooner. Instead, we allowed you to create something that your parents would be really proud of. For a few years, you were someone extraordinary. And what do you think my parents would want from me now? To be extraordinary again. Some advice to give to the boys and girls. To no, 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 you taped over my Carrie's Crazy Castle tapes? What? Your show was better. That certainly isn't. 
interesting tangy tea bag. Wait a minute, that's Judge Hairman. Who's Judge Hairman? My boss from the goddamn Snack Shack. And remember, boys and girls, it, if you okay. can dream it, you can be it. <laughs> dream B to be anything you want when you grow up. And <laughs> now I'm just a jobless failure. Wait, I thought you were a TV repairman. What? No. Then why the fuck are you in my house? Dinner time, you bearded cuck. Hope you're hungry. I've had these in my britches since they were yesterday's leftovers. Get this shit out of my sight and serve me some real goddamn food. Your sentence may only be six months, but I will make sure that you never make it out alive. Too late. Ah! 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 Not today! Ah! 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 Well, thank you for saving me. Hey, anything for the world's greatest porn star. You know who I am? Dude, you're my hero. You're the reason I got into porn. That explains why your name is Jackoff James. <laughs> Jackoff is my real name. Well, good day, sir. Hey, yo, Clip, hold on one second, man. I want you to have this. What is this? It's a camera with Wi-Fi. I use it to still make porn here in the prison. Hmm, interesting. The internet is waiting for you, my friend. Put that thing to good use. to me. Excuse me? I had no idea that the woman who taught me everything about not being a loser became one herself. And I got fired by that loser. Arlo, there's a point in every child entertainer's life when we realize what a fraud we've been. We call it our snapping point. I had mine 12 years ago at a bar in Brooklyn. You had yours right here at my courthouse. You were really a hero of mine, you know that? You inspired me to do my show because you told me every Saturday morning that if I could dream it- Dream it, you can be it. You still believe that shit? Just follow your dreams. I followed my dreams. I followed them so hard. They led me right here to this miserable job. Dreams are for the rare and lucky. You just slept through the portion of life where adults learn that none of it's real. Well, it was real to me. Most of my life, I truly believed that I could be whoever I wanted. Just get to the point. Do you want your old job back or not? He does, but not this one. It is real, Mr. Marble, to me and the kids all around town. It is real to these kids. And I'm not going to be the kind of example you were. I am not a fraud. Welcome back, boys and girls. I mean, girl. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, I'm going to go do what you couldn't and be a good role model for these children. I'm not going to let you little fuckers down. Magic Funhouse has a long way to go before death. Ha -ha! Whose child are you? Medusa, the fuck are you still doing here? Arlo, can you please call an ambulance? Look, I just want to say I am sorry for everything. You were the only person who believed in me because I didn't until now. Now text that whole gang and tell them we have a traveling show that starts tomorrow. Right away, sir. Not a moment to lose. I love you, Medusa. It's weird now. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm out of this circle jerk ass wipes. Gosh, my granddaughter just called and she's bringing over the police for some silly reason. Oh, that is so funny. You're gonna be a stand-up comic one day, Wilfred. I know it. Hey, take me to the moon, man. <laughs> Don't shit! What are you doing in here? I've come to tell you that I've quit my job as a prison guard. What is all this shit? Oh, I'm getting lighting just right for your close-up. You've got a terrible thing on your face. It's impossible to wash out. Yeah, you did this to me. <laughs> Fantastic. Jack off. He's ready for you. Thanks for doing this for me, buddy. I'm a fan of the beard. 
I like a coarse tickle between my legs. Have fun, you two. wrong with getting a little packed with the people you love? I've missed you many. My urine is equivalent to a dense pepper spray and I will not hesitate to harm you. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say sorry about earlier. Say sorry to our movie night. She meant nothing. But you know I gotta fuck bitches, right? I know. Movie night next time, baby raper. <laughs> oh. Everybody take one last look at this shit whole town before we leave. Let's hope this show's a hit. None of us deserve to return to this dump. Uh, guys, this is a very magical moment, but we need to leave now. The cops are here. Yeah, oh, they're probably here, here for, for me. me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so what's our first stop? Los Banos. There's a little farm girl's birthday party waiting for a goddamn good show tomorrow. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! And we're live in oh. 10. Shut up. Good morning, boys and girls. We want to give you your show back. Only this time, with a bigger budget, bigger staff, ah! and union wages for all of you. Dear God, you beautiful wizard, show these people that I know what I'm doing. Look at me. This show has turned me into a ah! freak. A show that I wouldn't have started if I wasn't trying to get back a family who wasn't there in the first place. Uh, God damn it! Is this amateur hour? Learn your fucking jobs, people! I'm Americans expect two things from their television. Absurdity and violence. I want them gone. That's it. Let's give these bastards the best motherfucking kid show they've ever watched. You motherfucker! So you're telling me the whole nation just watched us do a multi-homicide on a live stream? Stop, I lost a contact. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, I look oh. weird now. Oh. Fuck me! <laughs> Don't talk to me about brainwashing. I hosted children's television. Everyone, please put your hands together for Dave Rollins. Oh shit. And cut. Excellent work, everyone. It was real and it was raw, and I'm sure it delivered some sort of a message. Have you ever considered that being in a coma for 22 years may have held you back from developing good judgment for what's considered appropriate?